Winter door knocking. <laughs> Gotta have some fun. Hey, I've been getting this one a lot. It's winter. Roofs are covered in snow. All my friends in the northern markets are going through this fluctuation of getting buried with snow to having no snow to spending too many hours playing video games all day and wondering, hey, how do I keep my pipeline full and make sales? And here's the bigger question. Can I knock doors in the winter. So you ask, I answer. By the way, if you have other questions, drop comments on the video. Anyone you watch, you go on a binging journey, comment away. Because I tell you, I take a peek. I look at these very closely and see for yourself any question or comment or engagement that adds value or is insightful, I respond to. Why? Because I value your time and that's what we're here as a community. This is about more than just me. It's about you. It's about every single one of us learning together so we can do what? smash our income goals and give every customer an amazing experience. So if you're new or if you're not, welcome. My name is Adam Benzman, The Roof Strategist, and that's what we do here. So let's get started with today's video on winter knocking. Real quick, a couple of updates for you. We are rolling out some brand new additions to the Roofing Sales Success Formula, our all-in-one sales training, sales strategy, and sales system that's in use today by thousands of reps across the U.S. We've got what is it, four new programs being added to that, all existing clients of ours. You're getting them for free, and new folks, uh, you'll be seeing those here very soon, as well as some new letters and additions to the Battle Pack, and an overall new appearance to our training dashboard, because we have three missions here at the company, The Roof Strategist. Number one is to create amazing experiences. Number two is to always be improving, hence the uh, you know additions to the program and keeping these things up to date, up to current times, so you can perform at your peak and have a competitive edge against everyone else. And then number three is to be human. And that's why I started this video shaking and just having fun <laughs> because we're all human beings here. And the reality is we are all working with the same time each and every day and I value yours. So let's get to it. Hey, last offer. If you want, get a free copy, Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library. All my videos organized by category. There's a link in the description. Available now at theroofstrategist.com. Time is money, let's roll. Winter door knocking. First, this is a big myth that I need to dispel. And uh, John Cenac, fellow mentor in the Pitch Pro Movement, and I were, were on stage, by the way, along with Deshaun Bryant, another fellow mentor of the Pitch Pro Movement at d 2 and someone asked, hey, what do we do in the winter? How do we generate business? And this has come up inside the Pitch Pro Movement, and I wanna share one thing with you as, as a fun story. So this is a screenshot. Um, we, we have a little confidentiality agreement in there, so all names have been blurred, but this is a gentleman in the Northern Markets. Uh, I'll tell you, he's in uh, Colorado. And <clears throat> January stats. 27 referrals, by the way, this was posted on February 1st, with a goal of one referral every day. So 27 referrals in January, uh, 18 new claims filed, 24 deals sold, repairs included, because there was also some retail, and only eight doors knocked, closing out with 302,330 grand in sales in January. So 302, over 300,000 in sales in January. And let me tell you, January is not friendly to our Colorado people. So why do I start with that? I start with that to share that winter should not prohibit you from engaging in sales activities. So yes, you can knock doors. There are some limitations, I realize this, but right now we're gonna jump into a, a few key things for you to be doing in the winter. So can you knock doors? The answer is yes. So in the winter, when I say door knocking, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to immediately get on the roof. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can do the roof, but as a general rule of thumb, if you can access a portion of the roof free of snow and it's safe to access it, I don't want anyone, no roof is worth falling off for, I'll tell you that right now. So if it's safe to access and free of snow, I don't care how cold it is, yes, you can be out knocking doors. You can get those claims filed because the deal is locked in. It is up to the weather to turn in order for the adjuster to come out. But can you knock doors? The answer is yes, if it is safe. Now, there are other times, there's another member inside the Pitch Pro Movement talking about, oh, well, in the winter, it gets dark early. They're out knocking doors in the dark at five o'clock, not late, but it can get dark as early as 4.30, and they're out knocking until reasonable times. And what do they do? They set an appointment to come back later. So you can set that appointment for a future date, a future time. It doesn't matter how far it is. Keep that pipeline full. So yes, if you can, it's safe and set an appointment. Next, what else can you do to start generating leads? Keeping your hopper full. This is a great time for uh, referral relationship building. So I'm gonna write referral relationships. Now, the reason I'm writing relationships 
we're going to categorize referrals here. The referral relationships, I actually did a video, what was it, last week or two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I can't keep track. They all kind of seemed like it was yesterday. <laughs> we did a, I did a video on referral relationships, how to find people, who to look for, and what to do for them. And I'm going to put a link to that video right up here or here or here, somewhere up there. But you're going to be able to, to pop into that as well. It's a great time to invest and sow those seeds. And you know, Jordan Harbinger, by the way, people ask, what's your favorite podcast? The Jordan Harbinger Show is one of them. And I love what Jordan Harbinger says. He says, you have to dig the well before you're thirsty. And this referral relationship, planting those seeds right now through the winter are, is a really great time because you have a bit more free time. Then we have referrals from customers. And the gentleman whose uh, results I just shared with you at 27 referrals, by the way, in the month of January in Colorado, these were predominantly from customers. Very simple things like, hey, by the way, while you're here, do you own any other properties? Simple question to ask. Do you know your neighbor's names? And then working the referral program. By the way, referral program. I have a whole playlist on referral madness. I'm going to link to that here at the end of the video. So referrals from customers. Okay. Now, the other activities that you can do is direct mail. I just got, you know, let me see if I can pull it up. I just got a, a Instagram DM today from a gentleman. Yeah, let's see if we can pull this up here. Look at this. Play video. He's got this stack of 900 mailers that he just showed me. I don't know if you'll see that on the, on the uh, screen there that are going out in the mail. So it is something that you can continually do. Get the phone ring, lock in these appointments, all right? Especially if it's, you had an end of season storm date that you can work uh, only up until a certain point. And if it's retail, we have a very real sense of urgency in our industry. Material shortages, labor shortages, time delays to get things done. We need to keep the hopper full because people have a tendency to drag their feet till the last minute, but then all of a sudden everyone's doing the same kind of cycles. You know, they, they wait through winter, then they want to wait till summer when kids are on break, then they want to be on vacation. So there's this constant uh, procrastination that we want to move up. So uh, doing your outreach and building those relationships now to keep that hopper full, but also to exercise the sales habit. So direct mail is a very, very powerful way to drive sales. Again, I have an entire playlist uh, inside this Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library on referrals and also on uh, direct mail. So if you want to learn more about those, go check it out. I got tons of videos for you. All right. Next is digging into your existing pipeline. Now, I did a video way back when. Uh, we'll put a link to it up here in a second. It is, I'm trying to think of the title off the top of my head. It was about uncovering the pile of cash that's hiding in your pipeline right now. Different ways to start sorting through those old leads. As we get busy, and a lot of folks who are using my all-in-one sales training, sales strategy, and sales system reach out to me, and they say, Adam, how do I keep up when my phone's ringing nonstop? How do I keep up with these referrals because now they're pulling me out of this neighborhood? And there are new problems that they didn't expect before. First problem, Problem one is I can't get busy enough. Problem two is how do I keep up? Problem three is not only am I, can I not keep up, but I have new business that I literally can't sign. And when you start experiencing this, which I promise, as you get busy, it will happen. Yes, I'm very confident in that. It will happen. So what you need to do in the winter is not get lazy seeing ahead all this cash flow come in, but tap into that pipeline. If you were one of those people that just had your pipeline totally stacked, couldn't keep up, you got some breathing room now in the winter. Now we can turn our attention back to the pipeline, your CRM, and to go through that CRM and pull out any of those opportunities that are hiding in there. So we'll put a link to that video right up here. All right. Now you'll see here that winter time, can you knock doors? The answer is absolutely. If it is safe, if you can access it. Sometimes, by the way, my northern friends are going to know this, the southern ones, this won't make any sense to you. Snow melts off southern exposures on roofs faster than northern. If you can at least access the southern slopes of the roof, that's all you need. And if homeowners say, hey, listen, I can get at least a great representation of what's going on up there. And let me tell you, especially, by the way, if you're working storm damage claims, if one slope is damaged, we know that the others are too. All right. And I know if you're working a, a wind, uh, we may have more isolated, especially if it's directional wind, um, which I know all wind is directional, but you know what I mean? More severe on certain slopes that may hinder us. But my point is what you need to do is ask yourself, how? Okay. If you're following along on Instagram or Facebook, you've seen by now, I journal all the time. And in fact, just this morning, I even made a post about how can I, and this is how I solve 
big problems, how I find solutions to my own questions. I ask, how can I do this? Because let me tell you, it is way too easy to be like, oh, I can't knock doors today because it's cold outside. I can't knock doors today. No one's gonna want me up on the roof because there's a little snow. I can't knock doors today. Let me, I will, I will assure you, my friend, you will come up with as many reasons why you cannot do something as you set your heart to. But the good news is you can also set your heart to how can I do this? When someone tells you you can't do something, you're a coward if you just say they're right and then you turn away. I made a post on Facebook. I had a massive spinal surgery when I was 12 years old. I was supposed to walk out of that hospital the very next day. I didn't. I ended up in a ICU for three days, a eight days in the hospital, two months on flat bed rest and a full body brace, taking a uh, using the bathroom in a bedpan with my mother having to sponge bathe me and do everything. I was completely insufficient. I had a two year recovery. I had to learn to walk again. They'd tell me I'd never touch my toes. I'm taking my shoe off. I'm going to show you something here. Okay. I'm a dang gymnast. Now you tell me I can't touch my toes. I will show you. I'm the most flexible person that ever had a massive spinal surgery where I'm fused from here to here all the way down. So the reason I share this with you is to empower you to ask yourself, not oh man, I can't do this because it's winter, but instead, how can I do this? How can I find creative ways to generate business? And this should just get you started. And if you want even one more step, think of this like game tape time. It's the NFL off season. You study the game tape, what worked, what didn't, and you create the plan for success in the future, right? Success without a plan is just a wish. A goal without a plan is just a wish. My, my apologies, I butchered that one. Now, you know these one, two, three, four, five different things that you can be doing throughout the winter to make sales. I've linked to those videos and you need to ask yourself, how can I do it? So do not let the weather or anything you cannot control hold you back. Your mission is to say, well, how can I control it? And let me give you a tip. I had a lot of painful physical therapy, pushing my comfort zone, pushing my limits to be able to touch my toes like I do now. And I do it every single morning. Just ask Sheena. I am religious about it. Why? Because I said, how can I do this? They tell me I can't, I'm going to show you how. And now I want you to do the same thing. Here's to you making sales all winter. Thanks for joining me in today's video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It tells me I should do more of these. And if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Don't worry. I know YouTube, you can't see it, but I will. And I do look at this stuff closely because I'm here to serve you. Just because our time here is about to wrap up doesn't mean your in my time has to. So here's what I want you to do next. If you haven't done it, get a copy of my Pitch Like a Pro roofing sales training video library right here. I've got the playlist inside, by the way, for direct mail and referrals, all that stuff to keep you busy, including focusing on goals and motivation. And if you want to continue your journey with me, then let's hop into this little playlist here on YouTube on referrals. And I will see you on the next one.